In this section, we're going to be looking at goodness of fit tests. Now, a goodness of fit test essentially uses a chi-squared contingency table test, uh, which we've already met, to determine whether uh, the results that we're getting are close to a uniform distribution, or a Poisson distribution, or a binomial distribution. So, essentially it allows us to perform a hypothesis test to determine if the results um, can be modelled by one of those distributions. So, uh, you're going to have observed values, you're going to then have expected values based on the distribution that you're considering, um, and then we are going to uh, find the chi-squared statistic, compare that against the critical value in the tables, and come to a conclusion. Now, um, the key bit that you should keep an eye out for with goodness of fit tests is the number of degrees of freedom. Now, I'm going to be going through and explaining um, how we deal with that in each scenario, but that's the key bit that um, will be different from the regular chi-squared contingency table test that we've done previously. Okay, so keep an eye out for that as we work through these videos.